Hello, it's the Atari Guy 79 here, and today I, I feel like on my channel I don't have enough things that are like Atari and stuff. So, I just wanted to show you some games. But to the purpose to armor! Do, 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 do. Okay, so, um, this is gonna be kind of long, but, uh, this is gonna be telling about all these games and how they came to be and stuff and how do I like them and I actually don't think Pac-Man is bad for the Atari 2600 sure it doesn't look anything like the arcade but I think it's still kind of cool it's different super different and um so these are kind of like my favorite ones as in, like, I played them the most. Um, I really just pick a game from, like, on my shelf. And I just usually, like, play it. But, it depends. I actually don't really play on my 2600 that much because I'm so busy doing other things. But, this toy 2600 is, like, my, my favorite. This is the full switch wood grain model that was released in 1980, and it's my favorite version of the 2600 ever made. So let's go over some of my favorites, and then I'll talk about the history, and some of my least favorite, and some rare ones that I have. First, the 1979 classic adventure. Yes. This isn't like one of those games like it's just one screen. It's like there's a whole bunch of different screens kind of. And um I'll show you in a minute, but you can just look up yourself. And since this is my favorite, I'm just gonna put it in there. It's awesome. And next is Asteroids for the Atari 2600 and I love asteroids it's kind of weird that they have uh... every every like asteroid is colored everyone even the ship I think is pink yeah the ship was like pinkish red and they're not vector like the original 1979 arcade but this is cool. Next is Galaxian Belly Midway, and it's kind of confusing because I don't know if this game was made by Namco and licensed to Midway, like Pac Man, or if it's like Miss Pac Man, which was made by Belly Midway and then licensed to like, like, what Namco. To, I don't know. I'm not missing it. But Galaxian. I love Galaxian actually more than Galaga, I think. I'm very good at Galaga, though. I play at David Buster's all the time. And. This is kind of a real game. I mean, you aren't going to find it a lot. It's like in a $6 range. It's made by Tiger. Yeah, Tygo, the company who made all those really crappy LCD games in the 1990s. Like from 1989 and stuff. 1993. This is pretty good. I actually have another Tygo version game that I really like. I'm trying to get it out. It's called Jawbreaker. It's like Pac-Man. It's not like Pac-Man. It's got the formula down, but it's not a maze game. But yeah, you do eat like pellets and stuff. Or oh, I think they're pellets. I'm not even sure they're pellets in the original game. But yeah, I'm sure. And uh just put it over there. Alright. Next, uh let's see. I don't actually play this one a lot, but when I do, I love it. Human Cannonball. I used to play this on the Atari Flash. Oh, uh, 
a quick history. The only reason how I know what Atari is is because in December 2014, uh, Christmas time, we got a um, Atari Flashback 5. And we used to play like Space Invaders on it and Centipede. I, I didn't care for Centipede then, but now I do. And um, I played this sometimes. Um, but yeah, I love it now, and we also, me and my sister Olivia, well, Olivia has a channel too, it's cool, but, um, we used to play Circus Atari a lot, and that's cool too, I just don't know where a copy of that game is right now, um, I have a boxed version of it, um, I'll get it now. So yeah, I really do have some here. What are you looking at? So yeah, I do have the game. We used to play this non-stop, and I do have other boxed games like Pac-Man, Galaxian. Actually, my Galaxian was sealed. I was the very first one to ever open this Galaxian. And I have like asteroids and space mirrors and stuff. And, uh, speaking of Space Invaders, let's talk about the best game ever made. Space Invaders by Taito. Released in 1978. And when I first got this cartridge, this is the very first cartridge of Space Invaders. Well, okay, second. But, um, I was stupid and I thought the game came out for the 2600 in 1978 when it actually came out in 1980 for the Atari 2600. Also, I, I just have this. If you're wondering where I got this and you want to get a paper thing like this, I got it from a basic front handheld centipede. And yeah, Space Invaders is like the best. The, the bomb. You cannot own an Atari 2600 without Space Invaders and like Asteroids and like Centipede and Galaxian and Pac-Man and like Zook and stuff. And, um, okay, let's talk about a game that's similar to Space Invaders. It's actually more of a knockoff of Phoenix, a one of my all-time favorite games. So here, Phoenix, Centauri 1980. And, um, this is kind of like a knockoff of it, kind of, Demon Attack. And, actually, here's some trivia for ya. You see these models of these dinosaurs? These are actually real dinosaurs you can buy in real life. Not with all those, like, uh, airplane or whatever stuff on them. But, the uh, vintage dinosaurs, and I know that. They're, like, from late 1978, I think. And, uh, I know that because I collect vintage dinosaurs. And I collect vintage stuff, like NPC dinosaurs and Marx dinosaurs, yeah. This is pretty fun though, it's like a, it's like, okay, so it's like, if, um, like, Phoenix had a brother, or like, had a baby, this would be it. Just two guys alone, no. Alright, Donkey Kong for the Atari 2600, is this good? Yeah, it's pretty alright. Um, Donkey Kong, and that actually means double donkey. I'm not gonna let you think about that for a minute. Yeah, Donkey Kong for the Atari 2600. It's cool, it's like Donkey Kong, but Donkey Kong in the game, this version, looks like a dang gingerbread man. And the, and it's like, what happened? Why is the thing purple? Why why do the barrels look like chocolate chip cookies? <sighs> awesome, I'm excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, huh? But, yeah, I play this more than I should if I don't really care for it, but I do care for it, because I love Donkey Kong. It's not as good as the 1981 arcade version, but it's, it's cool. And, uh, here, another one of my all-time favorites. Pitfall 2 for the Atari 2600. Is this good? Good doesn't have a meaning. This is too good. Pac-Man? Cool. But why is the background blue, and the maze should be... 
Whatever. Wizard of War! Yeah, I love this. This is great. This is one of the greatest. Bzook. And no, this game is not haunted. Those kids were just playing it on it from the arcade in 1981 for just 14 hours straight, I think. It's a really good game. Actually. Um, and just so you know, I hate Mr. Command. I'm sorry. I, I really don't like... Oops. I really don't like Mr. Command. It needs to stop being famous and let, like, other games like Berserk take the fame for a little bit. It's like this, Asteroid, Centipede, whoop, and Battles on the most famous Atari, like, Atari game. It's not for the system, but it's from Atari Arcade. Okay, since I got some of my favorites out of the way, let's talk about some more of my rarish games. If I can, uh, hold on, do some di techno difficulties. Not really, I just, I just said that, so, you know, so I can have time to get some out. Some rarish games, and I'll also talk about Atari 2600 rail games, and you do not want to miss that. Believe me, when I say I know everything about Atari, you better think well, believe me, because I do know almost everything about Atari. We are back! And these are basically all the mo kind of rare games I have. And let me tell you about these. Um, they're not rare, basically, but they're pretty good, like this. Submarine Commando is like $28, $30, $25. It's a good price. And, um, see here, I got Starship. Now, you may be thinking, uh, why is this, like, why is this game, like, rail? Well, it's not, really, but I really couldn't find this game for, like, two years. And I was looking... And this is the second game ever made for 2600, and this is in a 1977 print. You original 1977 print? That's real to find. And this is not Lockjaw. This is Shark Attack, but I wish I could find the original Lockjaw print. And I also wish I had Air Raid and, like, and, like, Eli's Lad on. I do not have those, but I... If I ever saw them, I'd kill myself for them. And like Red Sea Crossing, Birthday Mania, the Telegames version of. Oh, may I also add, the Telegames version of Superman is rare. So if you have that, either give it to me or g get in the cash, because you're gonna want that money. Alright, I don't know why Avatar's here, Emanator's here, but I really can't find this anywhere else, you know. I saw a whole trick shot is pretty rare too. I didn't. I don't think this is rare. I just heard it somewhere. And uh, this is a game I didn't even know existed. It's called Piece of Cake. I bought this at Replay, which is the best video game store of all time, in my opinion. Well, yeah, you just saw that happen. Ugh. Gotta label it. Okay, <sighs> whatever. I can do that. Do with that later. And I also have Mash. This 20th Century Fox label engraved, like, no, like literally engraved into the cartridge. That's marketing for ya. And uh, yeah. So I also have like games like Golf, Dodger, Millipede. Warlords, Defendo, Haunted House, Oink, which is kind of real, Space Chase, Demons to Diamonds, Planet Patrol, Home Run, Hangman, Video Olympics, Super Breakout, Basketball, Surround, Jungle Hunt, Frogger. Oh, I used to love, I still love Jungle Hunt. Dig Dog, Pitfall, One More One, Ash, and then all that. I have lots of duplicates, because, you know, if one breaks, you can just play on an auto version. Also, 
if you're watching this, if you're watching this, wherever you are, and if you have a copy of Air Raid or any real game, give it to me, man. I'll so pay you back. Game. I will pay you back in games, cause uh, any game you want for my collection, you can have it. Um, but maybe not. Like, okay, so yeah, you can pick if you do have Air Raid, you can pick one of my adventures, but you can't pick both because those are my favorite. And you can't also pick. Well, for Air Raid, you know what? I I'll make an exception. If anybody's watching this now, which I, I doubt you will, and if you have any rail games like Air Raid, Red Sea Crossing, Lockjaw, like Eli Zerato, Black Patrol, Pla Black Attack, by Johnson Johnson, if, if you have any of those games, ha I would give you this. Yes, I'd give you my entire collection. No, I'm just kidding, I wouldn't. But I would give you almost my entire collection. I'll give you about 45 games. I I don't know. I'm going over my head right now. But, seriously. I would always... Even if I just hugged one and took a selfie with one. That would be great. Also, please like and subscribe my channel. And it may not be the best one, but it's still better than some ones I know. And, uh... See you, everyone, and also, I don't know if I didn't talk about, oh, I didn't talk about Cubot. Cubot is a pretty great game, but, so, it was, it's been busting out with popularity lately. I mean, there's been, like, the mini arcade has been, I'm just saying, they have lots of ports of Cubot now. And there was a time I never even played Cubot, and, um. Pac-Man, so, yeah, and hello to my friends that we play, hello Tori, Tori if you're watching this, hi Drake, hi, hi Demarcus, Jordan, Zane, all my friends at school, and hi Olivia, gaze upon my Tori collection. It's big on yours!